the passenger plane stolen at SeaTac Airport. Tonight, we've now learned how that airport worker towed the plane out and then flew it, taking off right from the runway. Authorities taking questions today, and ABC's Clayton Sandell is in Seattle. A stunt-filled suicidal joyride. Oh my God, oh my God, is he okay? Tonight, raising big questions about airport security. Friday night, investigators say Horizon Air ground employee Richard Russell tows an empty turboprop out of parking, starts the engines, and barges onto a runway. This is probably uh, like jail time for life, huh? F-15 fighters race to intercept. But 75 minutes after takeoff, a fiery crash. Russell passed background checks for his job, but told air traffic controllers he'd snapped. Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. His family and friends stunned. He was a faithful husband, a loving son, and a good friend. Airport officials admitting today security screening, especially for mental health, may need to be beefed up. I think this is really, truly one in a million experience. That doesn't mean we can't learn from it. Aviation experts say there are no easy fixes. Since 9-11, the U.S. has gone to protecting airports and protecting the people who get on those airplanes, not the airplanes themselves. The FBI will now examine the flight recorders found in the wreckage. They could shed new light on Russell's final moments. David. Clayton Sandell in Seattle. Clayton, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.